And if you're a 3D artist wondering how you can get started with learning full body anatomy for character creation, or probably you're thinking about a wonderful workflow for game asset creation or environment design, then the folks at Victory 3D has a couple of well-detailed amazing courses that you might want to consider taking a look at. And today we're taking a look at three awesome ones that addresses the aforementioned. Understanding the human body anatomy is a pathway to creating realistic and believable look-alike characters. As we all know, to achieve a significant level of good-looking characters, the knowledge of human skeletal system, understanding individual muscles, tendons, fat tissues, muscle connections, which includes origin and intersection alongside character progression for both male and female models are essential. And this is where the amazing anatomy and character creation course in Blender makes learning this super easy. This course is packed to the brim with an extra level of learning guides which simply goes above and beyond in teaching artists the ins and outs of character creation fully bundled with 192 videos across 20 chapters which covers every single aspect of full body creation with respect to proportion and anatomy. From this course you will learn all the most essential and necessary skills to take a simple ball of clay and create a fully animatable model with all of the necessary bells and whistles required. The course starts off by taking a deep dive into the study of the human body with it starting with a solid emphasis on facial anatomy. This gives guide to all of the bony landmarks which primarily shows on the surface of a face in respect to gender. The facial muscle element of the face which is great for pose artists and animators is also discussed as they need to be familiar with the muscles that moves within a character's face as this influences the smile, frown and performance of some facial actions when trying to animate or even sculpt the character based off a given pose. Facial fat are also talked about and discussed as this also helps to tell what age period a character is and the respective fat tissues that contribute to the formation of a face. As part of the facial section, the eyes, lips, ears and nose are also discussed in details as this will equip the artist with the necessary knowledge of features and underlining elements that makes up a face. And from gender to proportion, several key gender references are explored. What defines a feminine and a masculine model are all looked at, their proportions, position of various body elements, their anatomical build-up, and so on. At the same time, several anatomical terms are well explained as this would definitely help artists understand various terminologies when it comes to defining and understanding body anatomical elements and their positions. Just like the facial, gender and proportion, the torso, arm, leg, neck, foot and hand anatomy, bony landmarks, muscle structure, drawing, reviews and discussions of what influences various looks of these body parts are dissected and well explained to create the foundational knowledge which would help artists deal with basic character creation forms. And for character creation, the basic starting point which points to reference gathering prior to sculpting is heavily discussed as this would help guide the artist at various times when sculpting a model. This course proceeds to explain and show how various parts of the human body can be sculpted by simply using Chris Hemsworth's character Thor from the Marvel Cinematic Universe as an example project with respect to various references and anatomical guides. Every single part of the character is made directly in Blender as you get to follow this course step by step and build the character from the ground up. The creation of the character's hair and props are also shown and valuable lessons in regards to how you create several pieces are also shared. This course proceeds to showcase some very interesting set of techniques for both modeling, sculpting and also retopology, which in this case includes things to keep an eye for when trying to retopo a sculpted model, loop definition for proper deformation, edge flow for deformation and how to fix topology issues for both face and full body retopoed character at this cost. The instructor takes things a bit higher by showing how you can unwrap 3D models and dives in with precise information on how you can unwrap the retopoed model and also project details from a high poly mesh to a low poly one. Additionally, the course teaches how you can add more, major and minor micro details onto your model and also how you can create skin maps, hedge their eyes for final rendering. And for props, there is a set of dedicated chapters that shows all of the necessary modeling refinement and texturing needed to polish the final look of the props. This course also introduces artists to rigging as it proceeds to teach how you can rig a character, paint weight on both character, clothes and props. And for the final showcase, artists will learn how to quickly pose a character and make final renders and composite their renders. In total, this is a well put together and very well thought out comprehensive course and if you are an artist looking for a course that will teach you all of the fundamentals of character creation from start to finish without any knowledge spared, then this course is definitely for you. Steampunk is an interesting style of art. 
And if you're a fan of steampunk and you like creating props and would like to get the best performance of tools regardless of the software, then the steampunk gun game asset creation course is all yours. This is an interesting 7 chapter course with detailed sub videos to explain the nuances of creating a steampunk gun asset. The instructor starts with a basic know-how on blocking out the asset as various parts are considered and carefully put together to create an overall form as this will create the basis of how the high poly model would look like. The course also makes provision and uses pre-made assets that are shipped with Blender as these can be used and repurposed to speed up the workflow and creation process. From block out to high poly model, every single thing was done in Blender and using the Gozi bridge, our model is now prepared and sent out to ZBrush for sculpting and detailing and this includes decoration, damages, wear and tear and so on as ZBrush actually handles this process a bit better compared to what you have in Blender. So in terms of sculpting, the instructor actually goes in to explain how certain things were done and also shares a couple of tips and tricks on how you can achieve these things yourself. The course proceeds with the instructor teaching how you can clean the model and make it ready for game engines. Additionally, the instructor also showcases and discussed how you can unwrap various parts of the asset by simply using Blender and also shows how you can work with the UV layout tool via the Blender plugin. And for baking, this is explained using tools in Blender and eventually done with Mamoset Toolbag as it offers more baking tools and options with a better baking result compared to most solutions. And for texturing, this is completely done in Substance Painter with the instructor showing a couple of tips and tricks on how you can apply and make basic textures, material layering, rendering and so on. And for final rendering, lots of options are explored. The instructor goes through to explain and teach how you can make your rendering in Substance Painter, Blender EV, Mamoset Toolbag and Sketchfab. Personally, I do find this pretty interesting as artists will be able to have options on which tool they'll prefer to use and how they can set up their final renders for props. And so, if you've been thinking about how you can get started with asset creation for games and you'd like to explore all of the options that are available, then you might want to consider taking a look at the Steampunk Game Asset Creation course and get started with it. Game environments are lovely, but understanding how to create them from scratch can be really interesting and in most cases, daunting. And this is where this super interesting course makes an entrance. This course is specifically targeted at game environment design enthusiasts as it showcases and flaunts an efficient workflow through Photoshop for reference and touch-ups, Maya for props block out, ZBrush for detailing and sculpting the props, Mamoset Toolbag for baking props from high to low, Substance Designer for creating procedural mod system, Substance Painter for texturing, Speed Tree for creating foliages, and Unreal Engine where all of these assets come together. So from referencing to blocking out for accuracy in scaling and compositing, all the way to sculpting, texturing, material creation, and eventually lighting and compositing, this course is for, but not limited to total beginners as intermediate and advanced learners can benefit from it. The awesome thing about these courses is they're completely self-paced online courses, which means that you decide to start and finish whatever you choose. And also you've got lifetime assets and you can learn across multiple devices. A huge shout out to the folks at Victory3D for making this possible. And for those who like to take a look at this, link to this is gonna be in the description so do well to check it out. Tell me what you guys think about this one in the comment section. And of course, if you like this video or you learned something from this, you can go ahead and give a like and don't forget to share with a friend. And until I see you guys in the next one, peace.